This uh, demonstration here of uh, the objects vibrating was caused actually by uh, self-resonation of what they call ferromagnetic and piezo uh, electric and ferromagnetic um, barium type name. And this was used in the Army for levitation experiments. And uh, this particular experiment here is showing a, a crude form of levitation that um, causes heavy objects with seven pounds here to move around on a piece of aluminum plate through self-resonance, which is many bands and frequencies that I was causing. And other objects tend to move around, but only on translational movements. Basically, I'm doing a self-resonation system and adding on to it different carriers um, through the top um, amplifier and uh, tuning in, broadening the, the uh, frequencies, the pulse rate, and that causing it to react in different uh, shapes. It's almost controllable translational movement. There's really no difference on the surrounding materials from the main cylinder. Um, it can be plastic, steel, or very heavy objects will tend to slide around a bit. And yet, if you suspend a ring above the um, barium cylinder, you notice that the ring is held by some type of invisible force. So the applications of this in advanced applications using free energy or zero-point energy to power it would be in uh, propulsion technology. And um, that would be applicable to the forces that this type of material puts out. The objects you are seeing um, moving there is a form of levitation by uh, translational movement, meaning that the objects become lighter and can float around, the heaviest being the barium cylinder that you see there um, with the two wires coming out of it. it tends to slide around on seven pounds of its own weight. So um, that's basically what um, you're seeing. Uh, the physics of it is uh, self-resonation uh, through a power amplifier and broad and narrow um, bands of electrical energy going into this crystal. The long-term applications could be used in uh, propul space propulsion and uh, perhaps in medical research and metallurgical research. Well, microphones actually are made out of the same material as a large cylinder of barium titanate and there's a self-resonation effect taking place there. And that goes through the amplifiers and then I broaden and narrow the, the bandwidths and add pulses in that to create the effects you've just seen. The UFOs are just uh, other forms of life from space. Some advanced races, perhaps 15, I'd say roughly maybe 15 light years out, and then it gets stuck, population starts to increase of uh, different races from very low types of races to races that have excelled in propulsion and time and space and energy. And perhaps they come and monitor our old style radio signals and start laughing. Perhaps not. Maybe their culture is so entirely different that uh, they're just thinking about it and trying to help. So there is a connection. This, this Earth is only an island, really when you look at it on a logical level, on a cosmological level, amongst a sea of you know, billions of stars, uh, hundreds of thousands of galaxies. And I'm sure they've mastered uh, uh, time and space and uh, interdimensional physics, so they can pass from one dimension to another dimension very quickly. Old space, come and say hi here. So. They mastered all those problems long ago, I feel. I actually had my own encounters with uh, UFOs. And uh, I was not scared. I was very relaxed, actually. As a matter, almost like a matter of fact situation. Nothing really shakes me too much, really. Nothing really shakes me too much, no. 
I've seen metal turn and twist, and so what? It's interesting and enjoyable, but I don't jump up and down. And I've actually had men, business people, not so much scientists, but business people, go totally mad on me. Or I had to literally kick them out of my laboratory. And these are men from uh, such companies as uh, IBM. So what fascinates me is uh, sometimes the greed of um, the businessman and his money. I've encountered a few times and tend to brush these people off extremely fast because um, they're very friendly at first and then all of a sudden they want something in a nutshell and within a week. And I find it actually quite uh, disgusting because normally it takes uh, a good month and you need to put your energy into it and they're too skimpy to to get parts, let's say. Um, I've always worked on my own and let the businessmen sweat it out, in a sense, and pull her hair out by the roots because I always have done my research on my own, and when I'm ready, I just present it to the news media or to anybody who's interested. If you were fascinated by the amazing technologies and concepts you've just witnessed, now you can get even more valuable information and details from the new energy series. Five full-length videos. Nine hours of in-depth conversations and demonstrations of free energy systems. Explore the worlds of inventors and theoretical physicists who are changing the paradigms of science. Volume First one all, features we'll Tom Beard. In particle physics, any electrical charge is automatically a broken symmetry. Now what this means is there is a virtual photon flux, a violent flux exchange between the vacuum itself, which is filled with this virtual photon flux, Volume 2, John Hutchison. I feel that that is also true. I think the Mayan Connect is also a uh, coherer of frequencies and transmit them out and then lock this doorway into space and time. This motor here drew 12 and a half amps. Volume 3, Joseph Newman. This motor right here only draws 7 and a half amps. And look at the size of the propeller. Look at the size of the propeller. Look at the size of the motor. Look at the size of the motor. Now this is exactly what I teach throughout my book. I taught it to Dr. Hastings. I've taught it to the world. That the larger you make the mass, then the, the smaller amount of power it will take and the more power it will produce. With Volume 4 highlights type. Troy Reed. This is an old mechanical device. It's got, it's got two inner wheels on the inside and two outer shell wheels with magnets. They got eight magnets on this side, eight magnets on the inside here. Let's see what kind of torque we got at 75 PSI. In volume five, me? Dennis Lee. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> Maxed it out. So it went all the way off the end of this thing, 150 foot pounds of torque. Fired this engine. They're just 29.95 for each tape. Now the process or get all here, five for uh, 119.95, a savings of $30. Place your order cycle. today. This Call 1-800-795-TAPE. 1900 T-A-P-E. Please add shipping and handling with all orders. For orders outside the continental United States, please email Lightworks for a quote on shipping and handling cost. Our email address is lightworks at lightworksav.com. That's lightworksav.com, as in Lightworks Audio and Video.